today is the day we're doing we're doing tuning we've been struggling with team viewer but we finally got it so we're late as usual so we need we need to go Sean's behind the camera uh, we're going to do the legit tuning we're going on the toll road today and we're gonna give it all she's got and we're gonna see what we can get so today's the big day uh, Marty and Jeff y'all are tuning the car I'm, I'm sorry we've been late every single time we've done this literally every single time but I'm trying I'm trying if you didn't watch the last video or I guess it was a couple videos ago we started the remote tuning process um, that's what we're doing so Marty and Jeff are tuning the car right now uh, from Georgia we're in Texas so it's really cool how this works it's basically a dyno tune uh, we're, we're on the drive to Guadalajara Mexico right now uh, which is where we're doing this because uh, Mex Mexico yes sir are you there yeah, we're here. all right we are just about to the toll road we good Ready? all right here we go Stelvio behind us once. <laughs> <laughs> there it goes, yeah. Quadrifolio too. <laughs> Ooh, six grand sounds good. Haven't had it up to six grand yet. Alrighty. So we did our first little pull. We're making some adjustments, adjustments, um, and then we're gonna go in and change some things. My heart's beating really fast. Revved at the six grand, which is a new experience for this car. Last time we got that high, bad things happened with Mr. Price. So we're gonna hope that doesn't happen this time. Can guesses at the shop on what we think the power is gonna be to the wheels. What do y'all think it's okay. gonna make? What do you think it's gonna make wheels? Cams. What intake manifold? Uh, professional products. Typhoon. Uh, long tube headers. Yep. 75 millimeter throttle body. 75 millimeter throttle body. What's the compression? We have stock compression. Yeah. Depending on the motor, and everything is degreed right, it makes between 280 and 300. Okay, that's that's right about. Yeah, 286. That's right about what we're thinking. If it makes 300, I'm gonna be ecstatic. All right, y'all ready? So that was our second pull to uh, 6,000, which is kind of scary, but it's okay. Um, we're gonna do some little more adjustments in here, and we're gonna do another pull, and we're just gonna keep going like this down the road, I guess. Mexico's really pretty, at least, though. Let's do it. It's the next mod is gears. We got 29 degrees of timing up top. It looks good. It, it's making plenty of power. I, I think it's. I, I would. I'd leave it alone. I think this is good. Sounds good to me. Awesome. Well, thank y'all very much. That was. Uh, that was quick and easy. Yeah. Nothing to it, buddy. Nothing to it. Thanks for working with us, Ethan. Seriously, let me know after the dyno, okay? Yeah, I'll let y'all know, and I'll. Uh, I'll send y'all. Really curious the numbers to start with. Yeah. And then secondly, if we can make some adjustments to make it even better, we will. Sounds like a plan. All right, buddy. Thank y'all very much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So a couple things real quick. Number one, it's really hot. It's really hot. Uh, number two, that was really easy. 15 minutes. It's 15 minutes. And we're done. So um, as we were saying, tomorrow is dino day. Well, we're going to get off the side of the tow road, and then we'll, we'll talk more about that because I... Uh, I feel like we're in danger.
to. But it's time to leave because. Woohoo! Alright, six hours home. Here we go. Yeah, six hours home, man. First and foremost, huge, huge shout out uh, to the guys at Most Speed Shop. Marty, Jeff, you guys rock. You killed it. If you have a Mustang or if you have a vehicle, for that matter, and you need to get it tuned, uh, I mean, why would you go anywhere else? For the price and the amount of attention to detail and how much you can talk to them, how patient they are, uh, you really can't beat it. I'm a noob to this whole motor building and tuning thing, so guys, thank you. As we were talking about, Dyno is happening tomorrow at the shop. I'm guessing 260 wheels. What are you? 286. 280. Oh, and we got into America pretty quick. Yeah, oh, hey, <laughs> we are back in America. We're back in the beautiful state of Texas. That drive um, from Guadalajara was, it was quite the hike, but uh, we, are, uh, we are back, and it is good to be in the, in the land of the free. So he's saying 286, I'm saying 260. We have a bunch of guys at the shop that are saying high 200s to 300, a few over 300. It's not gonna make over 300, let's be honest. With the gearing we have, the 200, or 323 gearing, it's long. We have our next project. Yeah, the next project is gearing. Uh, 373 or 410 is the debate now. Uh, in the comments below, let me know what you think. 410. 410 for sure. 410 is going to rip pretty Throw hard. Throw posse in the back. Uh, 410, baby. Or Cobra. I, mean, I want to put Cobra IRS in the back with that whole new setup. Throw Ooh. posse in the back, whatever you do. That'd be fun. Burnouts. 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 Burnouts for days. When we get our new wheels and tires, we have a uh, set of donor tires here. On a completely different note, we pulled off in this awesome little bridge, um, and it's it's pretty great. It's really great. So we took some pictures. If you haven't checked it out already, uh, Cover Garage and Instagram, there's a link down in the description as well, under uh, the most speed shop, because that's the important one. Um, but if you want to go check out the post we made about this, it should be up there. Also, I gotta say, revving the car to 6,000 is super scary, but the engine sound it makes at 6,000 is pretty, uh, it's pretty great. It's very, very violent and loud. I do think today we also need to get some, uh, some flybys and stuff because yeah, me. When in Rome, yeah, we, we have our, uh, our camera guy here. Uh, I'm paying him very well, don't worry. I'm paying him in friendship, which is priceless. We're literally family, so it doesn't count. And we are family, so, <laughs> you know, take that for what it's worth. But I'm your friend, too. I gotta say, Texas or Mexico, I don't really know where we are now, is flexing on the entire world right now. This drive. Here's the consensus. Uh, after the motor, the hours, the money, the car is 
quite a bit uh, more lively than it was before. I think we can agree on that. Revving at the 6,000 is a thing of beauty. Just as nervous as it was before. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> when I get it up there, I'm always very nervous. I know I built the motor right, knock on wood. I got a dyno day tomorrow. I can't be too uh, too cocky here. You'll do fine. I know we built the motor, you know, the way we should build it. So it should be, I mean, it's a new motor, 815 miles on it now. But still, revving it that high is nervous. Tomorrow my heart's going to be beating, uh, along with all the dentist patients who are uh, going to have a vibrating chair. So <laughs> I'm sorry in advance to you guys. I'm um, not paying for your bills, though. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Too broke. I had to build a car. <laughs> <laughs> you have a point there. Uh, if you want to know how much it did cost to build this car, the motor, well, not the car, just the motor, there is a video coming soon. It is a lot, uh, a lot more. You always expect more when you're building them. You, in there, you, you, done that. you see, I expected more. I didn't expect how much more this was going to be. That motor is worth many, many times what I paid for the car, so. There's a good rule of thumb. Expect three times as much as you think. That's pretty much accurate. That's almost three accurate. Times as you think. So I had a goal set in mind. I put out all the parts and forgot about half the parts I need. We're gonna go over the full cost of the build though, probably coming up in two videos, because dyno's tomorrow, um, and then full cost of the build. I have to do a whole lot of math, go through hundreds of receipts, it's going to be painful. So if you want to get your car like this, you better uh, expect to uh, either have deep pockets or not spend your money on anything else other than car things. Daddy's money. Don't worry. It's not daddy's money. Uh, or have a really nice credit card. I can second that. He and I went to work same time every day. So We do work a lot. It's not daddy's money. I had a job so I could build this car. I should have had a job so I can pay rent for school. You know, uh, priorities. Priorities, I guess. So we're Try having a job right at spot. school. Exactly. Put me at the right spot to have a really cool car and no money at all. With the tuning, though, it's pretty much going to do it for today. The car is going to be tucked all nice and safe in here. Uh, I'm not going to see you at work in the morning. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I know I'm going to be sleeping in uh, just a little bit, but I will be there at 11 o'clock. Your version of sleeping in is like 6:37. He, he has a point. Are we going fishing? Is that what I'm hearing? Oh, let's go throw one in. We're going fishing. All right, so we're going to go fishing. Thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. Absolutely humongous shout out to the guys at Moe's Speed Shop. There's a link in the description below. Marty, Jeff, you guys absolutely rocked it. Can't wait to get you the numbers. Sean, huge shout out to you. You're, you're walking away, but camera guy. Got you. Best in the business. If you want to hire him, uh, he's not for sale. He's mine. That sounds a little weird. That sounds really weird. Just forget I said that. In all serious though, uh, thank you so much to everybody who's helped with this car. I would not be here with this car if it wasn't for each and every one of you. Thank you to all of you watching this video. I am so humbled, so blessed, and so thankful that we are here and we have that truck and that car and a lot more cool things to come. So until next time with the dyno, uh, leave your guesses in the comments below. Y'all take it easy. Remember to always keep it classy. And I'll catch you all very soon.